I love you. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, what's this room called? The Paradise Suite. <laughs> and, uh, how many Paradise Suites are there? Eight. Uh, hi, I'm Hannah Egan. This is my fourth year of forensics with Beaverton High. Go Beavers! <laughs> right now we're at state qualifiers, which is very exciting. I specialize in dramatic interpretation. This year I'm doing Closer by Patrick Marber, published by Dramatist's Play Service. My freshman year, I did Lolita. My sophomore year, Carnal Knowledge. Last year, I kicked ass with Body Heat. <laughs> uh, I've been to nationals twice. I've won 47 trophies, 24 of which were first place. All the tournaments I didn't win first place in were all held at parochial schools. <laughs> I'm, I'm Blake Bishop. I only do expository speaking. This is my first year competing. I tried out for the swim team, but it went very badly. Expository speaking means you need to show the audience how to do something, or you explain how something works. My topic is egg art carving. Egg carving is a delicate, elaborate art, not for the faint of heart. Egg carvers create designs in eggs that range in size from tiny quail eggs to emu eggs, roughly the size of a cantaloupe. I come from a long line of egg carvers. My grandfather's work is actually on display in an egg museum in Latvia. My dad taught me how to carve when I was five. I instantly fell in love with it. Once you've removed the insides of the egg with this device, the egg must be cleaned with a solution of soapy water. Once the egg has thoroughly dried, then it is ready to be carved. I haven't made semifinals with the speech yet. In fact, I found out I've taken last at every single tournament we've been to. I don't understand. Everybody loves eggs. <laughs> right? This is the lighthouse. This one's a butterfly. This one's Johnny Cash. I'm Adrian Groves, and this is my debate partner for the last four years, Josh Mazur. Josh is a master debater. What? You're a master debater. Oh. <laughs> We've pretty much dominated the world of forensics policy debate, number one at state for two years. Other teams are deathly afraid of us. Some have threatened suicide. <laughs> Chiching! What are they? Cotton candy. What are we? Jawbreakers. What are they? Cotton candy. What are we? Jawbreakers. Yeah! We get a little intense sometimes. We've made some competitors cry. Well, you have to if you're going to compete at this level. I hold in my hand right here 26 reasons why what that guy just said is complete poo poo. Mm hmm. Number one Employment Division versus Smith, 1990. We've been accepted to the same college, and we plan on carrying on this dynasty for another four years. That's right. <laughs> the last four letters in American are I can. So, so is Mexican. Dead is everything and everybody I ever know gone. Dead is dead quiet. It's a sin. You'll go to hell. Jesus was a suicide, if you ask me. You'll go to hell for saying that, Jesse. I didn't know I thought that. My name is Trevor McKernan. <sighs> After two years of doing conventional interpretation, uh, this year I decided to turn the forensic world on its ear. I do Marsha Norman's Night Mother as a humorous interp. Maybe I did drop you. You don't know. If you say you didn't, you didn't. Maybe I fed you the wrong thing. Maybe you had a fever sometime and I didn't know it soon enough. Maybe it's a punishment. For what? I don't know.
Nobody's ever done anything like this before. It's, it's my comment on how tragedy intermingles with comedy on a, on a daily basis. Suicide is fodder for comedy. Uh, take the nightly news, for example. It's so absurd. It's hilarious. And truthfully, Southern women are just plain funny. Night Mother is Steel Magnolias with Julia Roberts killing herself. That's real life, man. This one's Santa Claus. This one is Spock. And this one is Dale Earnhardt, my personal hero. Well, I'm Gay Brasher. I'm the Beaverton High School forensics coach since 79. Uh, national coach of the year, two years running, hoping for a three-peat. Sense memory starts here. Emotion starts here. Power starts here. Gather them all together and send them out. I think my success is due to the fact that I treat the kids fairly. I treat them as equals. I respect them and they respect me. They're all very talented and have bright futures, especially Hannah. She's our star. Who, who's that student behind you? Oh, that's Megan. She kind of sucks, but she has heart. Megan, where are you going?